نعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه واله وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد Brothers, uh, we have a chapter today, how to call to La ilaha illallah. How to call to Tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How to call or greatness of this job, to call to worship Allah alone without any partner. To the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Before this chapter, we mention, we mention how La ilaha illallah remove the sins. We mentioned the, the chapter how La ilaha illallah, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, the tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how remove <laughs> and burn the sins and make the person pure and then after we mention whoever apply la ilaha illallah the way allah legislated the way the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he applied and the, the the companion and the righteous people we mention that chapter too the person who applied la ilaha illallah, how entered the Jannah. And then came after how to scared to make a partner for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear from shit. And then if we just take a look to the to the the point we, we make or we point to it, if the person trying to trying to apply la ilaha illallah the way he legislates and he will worship worship allah alone without any partner if we look at it how clean you from sins and then after you scared to against la ilaha illallah you scared to make any partner then if you if this is your situation is not make you to call others to this beauty if we just look at it like this and make you without without knowing anything else it should you know it should make you I have to call others too if this is the tawheed remove my sins take me to the Jannah and then you're scared to fall to something against the topic. And then make you to say, oh, I have to, this is not going to be for myself. What about my family? What about my kids? What about my friends? What about my, my, my community? What about my, my uh, people outside? So make you to call to la ilaha illallah, to call people to la ilaha illallah. And then the chapter start with the ayah, from Surah Yusuf. Surah Yusuf. Yusuf smiling. It's not your surah. It's everybody's. So, if if we look at the, if we take a look to, uh, uh, if you take a look to Surah Yusuf, Surah Yusuf is is uh, is da'wah. It's about da'wah. We're talking about the messengers, how they make da'wah, how their people against them, how deal, how they was dealing with the people, how they struggle with the people, how they, 
They reject from the people. So, and then the ayah coming almost in the end of Surah Yusuf. So meaning, this is, you know, the ayah is make it clear that the messengers, <laughs> their, their call, their da'wah was to worship Allah alone without making any partner. قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِ أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرَةً أَنَا وَمَنِ اتَّبَعْنِي وَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ The ayah starts, قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِ Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking to him. Say, O Prophet Muhammad. Say, O Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. This is my way. My brother is calling to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is my way. To call people, worship Allah alone. Without making any partner for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is my path, and this is my way, and this is my da'wah. This is my call. This is my job. This is the first thing Allah obligated upon me. And and I call to Allah, not to anything other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I call to Allah, meaning to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To follow Allah's command. I call people to follow Allah's command. This is showing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, showing to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you're not going to call anyone to yourself. It's only to Allah. Because worship is the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's why he commanded him to call to Allah alone. But for obedience, for obedience, there's an ayah coming. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to obey to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for what he calling. So obedience coming. But to, to call to the worship is Allah alone. That's why he said, say, I call, this is my path, ad'u ila Allah. I call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, without any partner. قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِ أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرًا Upon clear knowledge, pure understanding. So this is showing that calling people and need need the clean clean and clear knowledge you cannot call people and you're not sure or you guessing or maybe you 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 yourself yourself <clears throat> you're not sure about what you're saying but you you know you make it from yourself you make a way for for what you say so ala basira Meaning upon knowledge, upon the pure knowledge, upon, upon clean uh, 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 ideology and clean manhaj, clean methodology, clean understanding. قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِ أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرًا أَنَا, myself. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said myself. So this is showing that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he took this job. To call people to worship Allah alone, as the messengers did before. And this is the job of the messengers. And then their followers, the same thing. The ayah coming, the, the, part, the, the last part coming. This is my job, this is my way to call Allah, to call, to, to call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, myself and my followers. And then if we look at the Sahaba, if we look at the companion, and then if we look at the, the A'imma, you know, uh, A'imma al-Arba'a, Abu Hanifa, uh, Imam Malik, Shafi'i, Ahmed, Rahimahumullah, Jami'a, and others. So they all, if you see, if you look, they all, they call to Allah, to worship Allah alone. We have the four Imams, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i, Imam Ahmed. In the Aqeedah, in the belief system, in belief system, they all four 
they have the same aqidah. In fiqh, in understanding, there's a difference from a madhab to madhab. They have different. But in aqidah, in tawheed, in belief system, there is no difference between the four imams. Imam Abu Hanifa, he became an imam. He born, he born like 80 years after the Prophet Sallallahu Amongst the, the youngest, you know, a sahaba. That meaning he's a tabi'i, he's from the followers, he's a tab <coughs> from the ta tabi'i. So Imam Abu Hanifa, he born like 80 years after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He died. And then, let's say after 20 years he became an Imam. So 100 years, around 100 years, he became an Imam. And then Imam Malik, right after. And then Imam Shafi and Imam Ahmed. He was in the time. So, when we look to the to their aqidah, their tawheed about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about Allah's names and attributes, no different. If we look to their aqidah about the grave, about sirat, about the judgment, the day of judgment, about the how the kawthar, the Prophet Sallallahu river, no different. If we if we look at their aqidah about the Jannah and Hellfire, there, there is no different. If we look at their aqidah about the Sahaba, there is no different. So meaning, there is some, you know, in, in, in the beginning, Imam Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, in the beginning of his da'wah, he used to say, Iman, faith, Iman is not increase or decrease. Iman is one level. In the beginning. And then, after a while, he changed. Because there's an ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ there's an eye in the Quran. So, and then after he changed, he said, no, bel, the iman is increased and decreased. That's the only thing was about Abu Hanifa, and then he changed before he, he died. Rahimahullah. So in Aqidah, they are saying. So the da'wah, da'wah to the tawheed from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sahaba, Radwanullah Ta'ala Alayhim, and then the followers, the tabi'een, and then tabi'i tabi'een, and then whoever following them, there's no different. They call it to la ilaha illallah, to call it to worship Allah alone without any partner. قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِ أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرَةِ أَنَا وَمَنِ اتَّبَعْنِي وَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ So subhanAllah, pureness for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from what the people saying about Allah wrong about their names and attributes, about their religion, about the prophets, about the messengers, about what he did, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what he sent, the books. So about whatever Allah did, sending messengers, books, you know, al qadr, pureness for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No way for Allah to make mistakes. So Allah is pure from any mistakes, any shortcomings. Subhanallah wa ma ana min al mushrikeen so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I'm not completely not from the Mushrikeen. Not from those they make partner for Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. I am not from them. And then we have a hadith, you know, hadith, uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas. This hadith, hadith Abdullah ibn Abbas, qala, <coughs> أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لما بعث معاذ إلى اليمن قال له إنك تأتي قوم أهل كتاب فليكن أول ما تدعوهم إليه شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله 
وفي رواية إلى أن يوحد الله فإنهم أطاعوك لذلك فأعلمهم أن الله افترض عليهم خمس صلوات في كل يوم وليلة فإنهم أطاعوك لذلك فأعلمهم أن الله عز وجل افترض عليهم زكاة أموالهم تؤخذ من أغنيائهم وترد إلى فقرائهم فإنهم أطاعوك لذلك وإياك وكرائم أموالهم وتقي دعوة المظلوم فإنه ليس بينها وبين الله حجاب This حديث حديث ابن عباس When the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He chose Mu'adh to send him to Yemen To make da'wah Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He's not just picking Mu'adh to send him He sent Mu'adh and Hulayfa رضي الله عنهم جميعا and others So we're talking about Mu'adh رضي الله عنه Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He he know what he what he uh, raised. He know he know what he learned from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He know his level. On top of this, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said, <coughs> "You have to be ready. You go into a people. You go to Yemen. There's a people of book." There's a Jews and Christians. The Jews and Christians. Meaning, you not go to a people they don't know about nothing. They used to have a book. So they have some knowledge. So they, they you may see people, you know, argue uh, with you and reject you. So you have to be, you have to, you have to be ready for this. You have to prepare for this. When you go, you know who you're talking to. And this is showing that very important when you're talking to the person to know his level. Very important. You know, same, you know, you may, you may have two people, same ideology, same belief system they have. But they may need two different ways to talk to them. You cannot, because some, like for example, you know, you, you have, like an engineer. Engineer, he, he has a subject, he's dealing with something, and then you have a doctor. He's dealing with something else. They have a two different ideologies. Two different methodologies. You, you may see, you know, you may need to use a different ways for, for, for the, this one, besides this one. You have a farmer and you have a doctor. You know, two different ideologies, two different ways of life, lifestyle. So you may need a way for this and need a way for this. Sometimes even amongst the people, the same level. But some people, they have, they understand quickly, they forget quick. Some people, they need explanation to, our, to get it. And then when they get it, it's not, they not forget easily. And this is, you can see amongst the students in school. You, you see this. Some people, they, they are get sharp, but quickly they forget. But some others, they need explanation and more and more and more. But, you know, when they get it, that's it. It's done. You know, they, they download it. It's not easy for them to, to forget. So, so this is, you know, this, this is when we look at the hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, you going to, you know, you have to know who you going to. You're not going to the people, you know, uh, 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 and you don't know nothing about them. You have to know who you're going to. So the people of book, they may have a belief system. They may come with, you know, a lot of different information to you. So you have to prepare for this. In the Kitab al Kitab. And then <clears throat> he said, Awwal, the first thing you're going to start with them, you're going to call them to, to the Tawheed. To worship Allah alone without any partner. In two different narrations, one said, call them to La ilaha illallah. 
The second one, he said, until they worship Allah alone. Meaning they believe to worship Allah alone. They cannot worship Allah alone in, in, in that one city. But meaning, until they accept from you to worship Allah alone without any partner, then you're going to move to the, to the Salah. This is here showing that the belief system is more important than Salah. The belief system, La ilaha illallah, is the foundation of the belief system. So meaning La ilaha illallah, more important than Salah. So maybe some people, they pray five times a day. But because the problems they have in La ilaha illallah, with La ilaha illallah, that their Salah is not even accepted. Some people, they have, they have they good, they're dealing with La ilaha illallah, good uh, with the good uh, aqidah, with the good knowledge, the way being legislated, but they have a shortcoming salah. So this shortcoming will be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, so that's why he said the first thing you're going to talk to them, you're going to talk to them about la ilaha illallah. If they accept it, then you're going to move to tell them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he legislates, Prayers five times a day. And then, you know, if we come into, you know, to talk about the salah, it's going to take too long. But you, we all, alhamdulillah, we pray. And you, you know, majority, alhamdulillah, you, you know how to pray. Or, or inshallah, all, even with some mistakes. So he said, if they accept it, to worship Allah alone, then tell them, then tell them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He obligated upon everyone, every Muslim, to pray five times a day. And then He said, if they accepted to five, pray five times a day, then go tell them about zakah. So meaning, meaning, <clears throat> if they not accept, if they not accept salah, so, what are you talking about the zakat? So the salah is coming first. So if someone, if someone not praying and he gives zakat is very strange. Why? Because the salah is obligated before the zakat. And more important, after la ilaha illallah, there is no action great as the salah in Islam. The greatest action, the greatest ibadah, greatest worship, in Islam, it's Salah, the five times a day. So he said if they accepted five times a day, then tell them about Zakat. And the Zakat, the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or even after, the Umara, you know, the leaders, uh, the, the uh, uh, Umara, the Amir of the Muslims, he sent someone to the villages to collect the zakat. Uh, zakat of the animals or seeds. So they used to send someone uh, to go to the villages, to the areas, to collect the zakat from the people. And then, so here, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, if they accepted to pray five times a day, then tell them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He obligated upon the people to give zakat. And then in this hadith not mention the amount of zakat. The only thing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he pointed to in this hadith, he said, meaning if you go going to collect the zakah from the people, specific the animals, <coughs> beware to choose the best animal they have for the zakah. You understand? If, like, for example, from the from the sheep, you know, from forty one one lamb. So beware to choose the best one for zakah. Why? Because the best ones always 
make the farmer happy. And when he look at the, the, the nice one, the, the beautiful one, makes him so happy. I sometimes, you know, sometimes I look at my, my, my lambs. I feel like some, you know, I, I don't know, uh, should I say, I feel like my, my cousins in the backyard. <coughs> They're so beautiful. So, so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he teaching Mu'ad radiallahu anhu, don't choose the best one, best lamb or cow or, or, or a camel, you know, or goat. Don't choose the best one for zakat. It will, because one of the reasons, his, his eyes always on, on the, the best one, the nice one. So, it's, you know, if he take it, he may be uncomfortable. And zakat has to be, uh, has a class. As he called into the to making da'wah, you have need a class. With la ilaha illallah, you need a class. <clears throat> you need sincerity. With the salah, you need sincerity. So zakat also needs sincerity. So whatever you give, you have to be sincere for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because this is a ibadah, it's a worship. So that's why it's one of the reasons he said, don't be aware and choose the best one. And then also, he warned uh, Mu'ad radiallahu anhu arda from oppressing. He said, beware to oppress anyone. Beware to oppress anyone. Because the one, the one being oppressed, if he made dua, there's no, there's no boundary between the dua and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning Allah will accept it. There's a no boundary. If someone being oppressed and made dua against the other, the one who oppressed him, Allah will not reject his dua, even non-Muslim. So he said, beware of oppressing. Uh, I think I'm going to stop. It's going to take longer, and I don't want to make it too long. We're going to open for, uh, going to be open for the, for the questions. Uh, I don't want to make the lecture longer. Uh, some people, they complain, they said, you know, online, you know, it's too long. People have no time, you know, to... You know, to listen to the long audios, uh, people busy, and so I don't want to make it too long. So if someone have uh, have a question, inshallah, so inshallah we continue.